what's up everybody welcome to another episode of jazzy c after dark i'm your girl your host jazzy c before we get started don't forget to like share subscribe hit that button at the bottom of the screen for the notifications you don't want to miss a minute um kisses hand hugs decision day it's apparently like months later so I just want to, you know, drop in and let y'all know, for those of you who've been paying attention, um, if the couples are actually still together. So, up first, we got Elijah Wine and Katina. All right. Okay. Uh, Rock is looking bigger than the one Steve gave to Noy. Okay, Elijah Wan. That's how you do it. Show your wife. Ah! Okay, so obviously, Elijah Wan and Katina are still together. Um, Elijah Wan has done a lot of growing up mentally, looking good. They're both looking good physically, look up, oh, dress nice, cute little couple. He said he doesn't require dinner every night. Like he did a lot of self-reflecting and was like, yeah, that's my queen. And after she doing school and she doing work, I don't want her coming home stressed out, tired, panicking, Looking for a meal for me to eat. I want her to relax. You know what I mean? And that's how you're supposed to do it. Kudos. Kudos. And Katina did her thing as a wife. She took her time and believed in her man. Believed that uh, he was going to listen and follow through and take the time to love her how she is supposed to be loved. Oh, that is just so beautiful. Oh, and they just look so, again, Gorgeous couple. Oh, uh, oh, uh, I'm just blushing all over and shit for him. Ah, uh, congratulations. Okay, moving on. What did they do to Oh, uh, okay. We on to Chris and Alyssa. We know that they are the only couple out of the five couples who did not make it. In fact, they were only married for 10 days. Um, you can see it as they were saying, I do. She kind of gave him a look. Um, so she didn't give him a chance at all. She thought she was going to get some, I don't know who she thought she was going to get. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, I don't know her type, something like that, uh, beefy dude or something. I don't know, but to me, Chris is nice. He's got a nice personality, the things on him as far as looks, um, that are kind of shaky. They can be fixed through cosmetic procedures if she's into that. It seems like that is a factor, a determining factor that helped her decide um, not to give Chris even a chance. She didn't even want to talk to him. But I don't really want to talk about her that much because uh, she's a bitch. And, um, but Chris, you looking good. Whenever anybody smoke clear, it look like you fixing your teeth. Keep that Invisalign in. It's looking good. Way to go. All right. Next couple. All right. So Mike and Jasmina are up next. It looks like um they're not together anymore, which we probably already knew. Mike said that uh, it only lasted 12 days after the decision day. But that's just crazy because... They look, like Kevin said, the host said, that they look good together. Like, they sitting all, you know, close to each other. Jasmina is sitting next to him, and like, on the edge next to him. And he looking good in his blue suit with his pink tie. They just look good together. It's unfortunate that it didn't work out. You know, if it was me, I would have got me a little piece of that chocolate before, you know what, it's not up to me. Uh, moving on. Next couple is Noe and Steve. Okay. That's all I got to say. Millionaire up. Steve Noy. I Noy, do you feel comfortable? I do. Right. You do. You got a millionaire. He over here talking about all his investments. He got talking about crypto and other companies that he done bought, sold. Girl, bye. Really? Really? You got you a good man right there. Do not ruin that. Don't ruin it, Noy. He is well articulated. He knows how to work his money. He knows how to save his money. He knows how to invest his money. He builds companies. He sells companies. Girl, you got you a good man right there. 
He takes his time. He listens to you. He letting you keep your own spot one day. Girl, I'm loving Steve. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I love me some Steve. So the last couple, Mark and Lindsay, has called it quits. Um, they are no longer together. Mark and Lindsay says that um, upon moving in together, they had one more box to go and they just could not stop arguing for the life of them. But my thought and my opinion is, duh, y'all spent the whole two months of y'all getting to know each other um, after y'all came from y'all honeymoon of arguing and fussing and fighting together. The only time that y'all ever got along was when y'all were actually helping each other. Like y'all are good, like co-workers, not good at marriage at all. Y'all have different ways of communicating. Mark called Lindsay a big bully. As a matter of fact, he put her on the top three list of bullies of his childhood bullies. He put her up there. So, and um, Lindsay says that when he was, y'all, they was getting into it. Mark was threatening to kick her out and make her pay rent. And just was a whole bunch of mess. It really was uncalled for, if you ask me. Like, it, it just was a whole bunch of drama and toxicity that neither one of them needed. But on the brighter note, Mark said that he lost 40 pounds. So, yes. Congratulations, Mark. You look wonderful. You look excellent. I love it. Your little suit with your little, I forgot what them little cummerbunds or them little vests that y'all be, that is handsome. You look really nice. Lindsay, um, I like the dress. It just looked too big. But other than that, um, these couples, it was a wild ride. So, I guess 20% or two-fifths of the couples actually made it through. So um, I hope they continue on and the rest of the couples um, do y'all thing. I hope y'all don't be on Match.com. Um, in the meantime, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in for another recap review episode of Jazzy After Dark Decision Day uh, Reunion Boston Married at First Sight. In the meantime, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that button at the bottom of the screen for the notifications. And leave some kisses in my comments. Let me know what you think.